Next time on Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, we're gonna go ahead and try and rematch the Armored Harriers and make our way to the Major League. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night. Um. Hi. How you doing? It's midnight. Welcome back to Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. The last episode we uh, got a new party member. That was pretty cool. So, um... I got some explaining to do. What the fruit happened? I'm trying to recall the exact details of like what went into all this decision making. Originally, Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door was going to be the first Let's Play of Year 7, which was the previous year. That did not end up happening, however, it might have been due to voice actors? I don't know specifically, but that might have been the reason why I decided to switch things up. And like, my list of games that I want to LP like, I always want the first LP of the year and the last LP of the year to be like very special and standout-ish, and um, considering getting like closer and closer to the end of my LP and career, I'm kind of running out of wiggle room to like switch games around in terms of what order I want to LP them, because I do have every single game uh, all the way up to 120 in order of when I want to let's play them, because I'm crazy like that, but for Thousand Year Door, I think... I wanted it to be the Let's Play for Year 7, but it didn't end up happening because I want to say it was because I was waiting for voice actors, which is understandable because this is an insanely huge project and like, um, considering I was moving at the time and uh, jumping between states and all that jazz, like, there was a lot on my plate and I just did not have time to like, uh, communicate and work with them, so it just wasn't happening. So, for that reason, I wanted to switch it with a different game, which was Code of Princess. So, that wound up being the main Let's Play for Year 7 instead. However, I was out of the state at the time when I recorded, um, when I recorded Undertale, and Mario Party 4, and probably some other LPs. Uh, Detroit Become Human. I think I recorded all of those Let's Plays. I kind of want to go back and look real quick just to be absolutely sure. Walking Dead didn't release yet, I don't think. No way it did, didn't it? Was Walking Dead the... Yeah, because I remember... I specifically remember saying that Walking Dead was the first thing I recorded for year 7. So I must have recorded that while I was out of state too. So I recorded the first episode of Walking Dead, all of Mario Party 4, all of Undertale, all of Detroit, and I did the first three chapters or so a thousand year door while I was out of California and in the process of moving all that jazz but I wanted Code of Princess to be the main let's play that started year 7 because that was like the most standout-ish one for me the one that was the most special however I forgot one thing when I was um traveling and it was my 3ds capture card so I was not able to fully record Code of Princess in the way that I had wanted to do it, because if you saw the LP, you saw that like I combined the 3DS and the Switch versions into one super version. So I was not able to release that, and Year 7 started a few months later, after like a bit of a hiatus, which is kind of unfortunate. But that's just how I do things, because I didn't want to start with just any random game. I want it to be in a very specific order, so the only games I was willing to start Year 7 with were Thousand Year Door, which wasn't ready, and Code of Princess, which I couldn't record. So... For that reason, I eventually started Year 7 with Code of Princess, and then Thousand Year Door, unfortunately, because it's such a big game and I just needed to make sure I had enough time to make it as perfect as possible and get all the lines from all the voice actors, I had to delay it for a year. I considered scrapping all of the stuff I recorded just so the commentary would be consistent, but I don't know, I've been having fun with it. I had so much fun up to this point, and... I didn't really want to erase that, and I'm sure I'd have fun going through it again, but I didn't want to risk having the commentary be stale or just, like, uh, going through the loops again, because that's why I don't do test recordings or test runs or 
uh, practice playthroughs before recording an LP because I just want to go into it fresh and I want to re-experience the game along with all of you even though it's a game that I have fond memories of already and I know the game in and out. I don't want it to be like super vivid in my mind is like I just experienced it so it's not as fresh as it could be. So for that reason, I didn't scrap the recording for the stuff that I've already done and here we are a year later finally resuming Thousand Year Door. Now this doesn't mean much to you guys because um, this is all being released uh, hopefully properly, I'm not sure, but um, the, you basically won't have to wait a year between videos for Thousand Year Door though, which is nice. So I don't even know what to say, it's just it was a weird turn of events. I recorded a bunch of stuff while I was out of California when I got back to California uh, Thousand Year Door just still wasn't ready, so I had to delay it for a year because this was a year this was a year starter LP for me, and I um, didn't have it ready for year seven, so I waited till year eight. But now that's finally taken care of, we could get things started. Speaking of started, there's a star piece here that we never got, and there's also one outside that we could go get that I forgot as well, and then we'll be good to go and continue on with the rest of the story. So, I was going to save this story for the end of the LP, but considering this uh, big hiatus turned uh, turned up in Chapter 3, I guess I can tell this story now. For the past two times I've played Thousand Year Door, um, it was with two different friends on two completely separate occasions where um, I wanted to uh, show them the game for the first time because it's a very beloved game to me I wanted to show it to them. And both times with those different experiences, like showing this game to other people, the game wound up being, like, I wound up losing those friends due to, like, fights or whatever, and just, like, having a falling out and just uh, not talking anymore. Not because of Thousand Year Door or anything like that, but because of, like, other stuff. But, like, it always just happened during Thousand Year Door, and, like, the times that we, like, stopped talking to each other, it was always during Chapter 3 for some reason, so... I had kind of sour memories of Chapter 3 in general going into this, and then to have a year-long hiatus happen with uh, this LP in Chapter 3, like, I was just like, why is Chapter 3 cursed for me? It was so stinking weird. But here we are, we're finally back, and I'm not gonna let that curse stop me. Oh, I might let this person stop me, though. So you're telling me that you have no idea who got inside? What do we pay you for? I'm awful sorry, Miss Jolene. I heard a noise in there, but I couldn't find nothing. Couldn't find nothing, doesn't that mean you found something out, oh, whatever. Hm, fine, leave the rest of this matter to me. Go back to your post and listen to me carefully. Do not ever tell anyone of this or I'll have your job. ZOMG, it's a Mario. You, Mr. G <laughs> okay. Mr. Gonzalez, this is highly inappropriate. Uh, yeah, burping during your speech bubble is very inappropriate. I apologize for that. What business do you have here? Please, pl I don't know. I mean, must, what? Please, I must ask you to stay out of places where you have no business being. I'm walking down the stinking hallway. It was a stinking accident. Oh, whatever. They just want us to be in our stinking fighting rink or whatever. Uh, but yeah. Anything else over here? just want to make sure that we didn't miss out on anything else. And Bandy Andy's over here. Hey there, Gonzalez, how's it going? You're looking curious, wanna hear about the Seven Wonders? God, did we do this already? I feel like we did. Oh no. I really hope we did this already, because this is kind of funny. If we didn't do it, I'll, I'll check the recordings after this and see if we did this or not, but if we didn't all like edit it back in because they're kind of funny stuff right here. That's probably not a very grammatically correct sentence, but whatever. Uh, in this box, is there a star piece? Uh, I've already gotten it. I know there's something in here. There's like a badge or something, so I guess we already got it. But yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, last episode we got the Yoshi party member, who we named Blue, after my original Yoshi, who was named Blue Spike, which was a very stupid name, so I made it a bit cooler sounding. Speaking of Blue, um, I originally auditioned for the Blue's Clues reboot to play the role of Steve, but I didn't get in, unfortunately, which is kind of sad. But I'm still really excited because it looks really good. 
Uh, we are still in the minor league, so we did not rematch the Armored Harriers after losing to them because they were invincible, but hopefully with this new party member, we'll be able to defeat them this time. It'd be kind of awkward if we couldn't defeat them because then we'd be stuck here forever. Then again, we kind of were stuck here forever considering we were stuck here for a year. Well, boy, howdy, Gonzalez, fix him for a fight, huh? I just gotta remember everyone's voices again, my god. Well, alrighty then, let me just see here. Your next opponent will be... Rank 10 in the Glitz Pit, the Armored Harriers! Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to use at least one special move, okay? Well, that's kind of useless, but whatever. The crowd needs something flashy, you catch my drift? Give them a good show! Now get in there and blow the roof off, son! Does Sweet Treat count as a special move because we're not full on SP, so I kind of want to use it, but actually, wait, Sweet, Sweet Treat doesn't refill SP, it just does everything except that. Gonzalez, match time, follow me, bub! Uh, something I do remember, I don't know why I remember this from a year ago, but not whether or not I read those stories from Bandy Andy. The Babam, we accidentally skipped over its tattle information. We could fight them later on, though, so uh, it's not the end of the world. He's not lost for good. Uh, I just thought I should point it out because I have been actively trying to get all of them. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the Iron Adonis Twins. Yep, I fight to the finish with the Armored Harriers. Let me at him! Yeah, bring it. You ready for a beating? These ultra hard buzz just can't lose. Get yourselves ready to rumble! That's not even the same song. Gonzalez, let me at him! We're gonna take these punks this time. <laughs> Stinkwad's challenging us again. He never learns. Looks like he brought some new shrimpy partner. As if that's gonna help him. Okay, we unfortunately have to use a special move. Can you not throw a stinking soda can at me? I know it's been a year, but still. Uh, we gotta use a special move even though it won't do anything. Oh, we can't even afford Earth Tremor. This better count as a special move. Sweet treat! And it even costs one SP, so yeah, it probably does. Uh, just start throwing these. I gotta get back into the uh, combo game. Like, I'm kind of worried about not being the king of stinking super guards anymore because it's been so long. I didn't hit a mushroom, did I? Okay, apparently I did. Uh, just get those. Not really all that important because we were already at full health, but whatever. So, the Yoshi, his abilities are Ground Pound and Gulp. Ground Pound is sort of like both smack attack. It does uh, 1 HP of damage, but it does multiple hits. So, even though it does like a total of 4 HP of damage, they're all separate hits. So, if an enemy has at least one point of defense, he won't do any damage to them, which is kind of unfortunate. The Gulp, however, it inhales an enemy and spits it out at another enemy. If you remember from a year ago, Goombella said that the only way we could pierce an Armored Harrier is by hurting it with something that is just as powerful as an Armored Harrier itself. So, what better way to do that than to have them attack each other? And there's the stylus for that attack. Yeah! You spiked me right in the... That really hurt! Our iron bodies and pointy nastiness are being used against us. No fair. Oh, darn, bro. Has he discovered our weak points? I still got it! Sort of. Uh, I gotta get back into the swing of things, but we're, we're, we're close. We almost got it. Okay, let's do this again. And that is it. We've officially made it into the Major League. And it only took an entire year. Okay, I'll stop mentioning that. Ugh. Do we have to go back to the minor league now, bro? I think I'm gonna be sick. Congratulations, great Gonzalez! With this win, you made the major league! Now that, folks, was what I call a wild and wooly fight! A diggity darn doozy! Keep it up, kid. You're going places, I can tell. Hooey! Come on now, folks, give it up. We got a new major leaguer. Let's hear it for him. <laughs> Ooh. 
Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. You receive seven corns. And our ranking rose to ten. And Mr. Gonzalez, Mr. Greppo wishes to see you in his office. Follow me. Uh-oh, this is Akutako. That doesn't seem suspicious in the slightest. Mr. Greba, I brought Mr. Gonzalez as you requested. M -m -m miss Jolene, you mind your manners now. We knock round here, missy. I apologize, Mr. Greba. Don't you worry your pretty little head about it, none. Now, what I want again? Something about Gonzalez? Oh, yeah. Gonzalez, you old so-and-so. Let me congratulate your son. Major League already, huh? I had a feeling you were going places, and darn, I love it when I'm right. You just keep on putting tukuses in them seats. I'm counting on you, son. I love the word tukus. I got a special little something for you. Oh, wait, it's a something something. I love that word as well. I got a special little something something for you. Go on, take it. One corn. No, it's 30 corns. That's more like it. So, yeah, something else that's been on my mind. Your costume ain't cool. No big deal, son, but hey, someday if you become a champ, I'll get you a new one. Something ba something hot pink, maybe, with some frills or something. You look a, you look a sight, son. wonder if that's like a reference to a little Max pink hoodie. Anyway, that's something for another day, pard. Take a powder, okay? Mr. Gonzalez, please follow me if you would. So now that we've made it out of the minor leagues, we get ourselves a brand new dressing room or locker room or whatever this is supposed to be. This is the Major League Locker Room. You will use this room from this moment on. The match system isn't the same as the minor league, but the bouts are harder. Try not to get completely destroyed out there, okay, Mr. Gonzalez? Well, if you'll excuse me, I must be going now. Oh, I missed you, Jolene. I missed all these characters. Oh my god, I'm so happy to be back. Uh, they don't seem all that happy, though. What's the deal? Wanna kill these guys to show a little friendliness? Sheesh! Hello. Still a guy coming through. Listen up, losers. I've been hearing about some rising star tearing up the league. It's you, isn't it? Yeah, you fit the bill, skinny. A mustache named Gonzalez. Man, I came all the way over here for you. <laughs> what a waste of time. Oh. What's your deal, Gonzalez? Huh? Oh, the champ's belt. What in the- Hey, you! Get too close to the hawk and you might get rocked! I'm not sure, but it definitely looks weird. I think you're right, Gonzalez. Fake! Hey, you think you could just smack talk the rock hawk? I don't think so! Starting to grub, oh god. You got some guts calling my belt a fake, you shrimpy no belt having wimps! I got the overalls, they're like a super belt. Didn't your mama teach you any manners? Mario's the mama now. Whoa, sorry, yellow dude. I didn't mean to rip on your big bad belt. Stop making fun of me, punk! You're alive only because we ain't in the rain right now. If I see you under those lights, I'll tear you apart. Remember the rock! So he thinks the crystal star is a fake. Wow, I really pushed that dude's buttons, huh? Well, forget him! We got a problem. Your map pointed to Glitzville, right? If that dude's belt has a fake crystal star on it, then where the heck is the real one at? Gonzalez, was that your mailbox SP going off? Who'd you get an email from? It's a bit of a different ringtone than usual. If you want the crystal star, heed my instructions from X. Who the heck is this X dude? He talks like he's the man to see about that crystal star. Why would he want to help us out though? This whole deal seems kind of whack. And we finally get coins in our inventory, cool. So things are gonna get a lot more 
uh, spooky. It's spooky. Now the year-long hiatus was worth it. It's gonna get a lot more spooky and mysterious because the apparently Rockhawk's Crystal Star is fake, but there's still one hidden in Glitzville somewhere. And we're getting a bunch of mysterious emails now, which is kind of Akotako. Uh, but yeah, I guess we could just look around this place a little bit more. There's a bathroom. Could we actually go into this one? Occupied. Guess not. Hey, where'd you get the hammer? You're biting my style. I'm the hammer guy. Uh, is this guy as cool as King K? You're pretty tough, baby, but you're not. You're really gonna have to power up to win here. Uh, no one's as cool as King K. Destroy the foe before you. That's the only concern of a true warrior. I'll be the champ someday, you bet. Yeah, right. Uh-huh, that's right. Just like the big legendary champion, Prince Mush. Uh, let's go ahead and heal up in here. We unfortunately don't get SP restoration like the champion bed, but HP restoration is still good all the same. Now up next, uh, I feel kind of weird like the only thing we did was uh, just the minor league, uh, major league bout, whatever you want to call it. I don't even know. Let's close these doors because I'm OCD like that. Pink Game Boy Advance, I wish we had one of those. Maybe there is one, I just don't have it or whatever. Well, boy, howdy, Gonzalez, fix him for a fight, huh? Well, alrighty then, let me just see here. Your next opponent will be... Rank nine in the Glitz Pit, the Tiny Spinies. Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to use at least one special move. Oh, Ken, jeez. Crowd needs something flashy, you catch my drift? Give him a good show. Now get in there and blow the roof off, son. So I don't remember what I was doing for, in terms of party member uh, switching out and all that jazz. I know that usually I uh, go through this thing having Goombella Coops Flurry, Goombella Coops Flurry, but now we have a new party member. I kind of want to just exclusively use the Yoshi now, or Blue, I could use his name. But um, I don't remember if that's what I was doing. I do remember that I was getting title information though, so uh, I guess we'll just focus on that because these are going to be some new enemies we're going to be seeing. Gonna, 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 I don't know how many more times I'm going to say that, but what ifs? For our next battle, we got the Merciless, Ex the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and... The th th like you, my god, you think my talking would get better in like a year, but no. You think you can take me and Gonzalez? Ha! Wee! It's gonna be fun poking fun at you. Get yourselves ready to battle! These guys are actually the same as uh, the Armored Harriers, at least for the time being. You might have a badge that flips them over, but otherwise you're gonna need to use the Gulp ability because nothing else is gonna work on them. Earth Tremor actually might work now that I think about it, now that I say that out loud, so... Uh, we're gonna swap to Goombella. Uh, get that title information. That's a red spike top. It's the uh, most well protected of the Buzzy Beetle species. Max HP is 5, attack is 3, and defense is a whopping 5. Yep, this guy is hard. It has really high defense, and fire and explosions don't hurt it at all. If we could just find a way to flip it over, its underside has defense of zero. And that spike, what a pain. There's gotta be a way to flip it over. I get it, flip it over. I guess a, ouch, I guess a power block would also work. Gotta get back into the super guard groove, come on. Uh, let's switch back to blue. Uh, have him do his appeal. Just does a little dance. Thank you. Okay, you could do super guards and actually do damage on like the armored harriers. Just gonna keep on trying to get back into the groove of that. I, I'm so mad that like I'm not the king of uh, super guards anymore. But we'll get back into it. Uh, I could use gulp, or I could just keep on appealing and use earth tremor. I guess it would be nice just for practice and whatnot, but I don't know. Do an appeal. Darn it. Just trying to get better at super guarding. Uh, might be a good time to do this. Uh, Earth Charm can do up to six damage, so just do that. And we will use Earth Tremor. Earth Tremor! Gonna be real awkward if this doesn't work. Oh god darn it. Well, they have five HP, so it's fine. It should be fine. There you go. And we're unfortunately out of SP again. But we got to level up, so it refills all instantly. Hooray! I totally... What? Oh, what did I upgrade last? God darn it, what did I upgrade last time? Oh, no. Well, these two are even. I could do math and try and figure it out. 
or I could look up footage. God darn it. Alright, you start with 10 HP, 5 FP, and 3 BP. I know I upgraded FP first just so I could have even with these two, and then I went HP, FP, BP, HP, FP, BP. So let's try it like that. So we got 15, 15, 6, um, 20, 20, 9. Uh, so I guess BP was the last thing we upgraded, so it would be HP. I hope I'm right on that. Give me some good old HP. We got ourselves a winner, the Grey Gonzalez! <laughs> How'd that floor taste? God, this Yoshi is so singing sassy. Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. 11 coins. Mario's ranking rose up to 9. Now if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Okay, we got 1, 2, 3 coins. That's nice. I think this is a good moment to end the episode off. It is very good to be back. I hope you uh, are okay with the year-long hiatus, even though it probably won't be noticeable on your end. Uh, hopefully the commentary wasn't too awkward, but me being all like, Wow, I can't believe they just announced Ryu as a playable character for Smash 4. That's so cool. Oh my god, how times have changed, and like, all of the stuff that, uh, we got an ice storm, okay. Uh, all the stuff that we know now, and all that jazz. It's been a year, I could say that, I guess. Next time on Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, we are going to continue our trek through the Major Leagues, and hopefully come into contact with a real Crystal Star. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.